Chemicals that were used, the pesticides that were used prior to the DDT era uh, were such things as pyrethrum, uh, which is uh, made from a, a, from a chrysanthemum plant and it's an exceptionally good insecticide, still used today, properly formulated with the synergists, it's still used today. And uh, it was used for almost everything, but it's principally fly control. Uh, when they use flit, flit contained pyrethrin. Uh, very effective. Many years ago, I started collecting old pesticide containers from the 1900s, 1910s. And I have the collection at our office. I had a sales representative from uh, the phone company, his name's Ricky Harris, walked in and he happened to look at my collection that was on the wall up front. And he goes, Flip, do you know about Flip? And I said, no, I don't know about Flip. And he told me in advertising classes in college, that they told, uh, t taught them about Dr. Seuss, Ted Geisel's work with the Flit sprayer. There was a humongous campaign in the 20s and 30s using Dr. Seuss's cartoons to promote Flits. If, if you don't, in the, in the 20s and 30s, they put product in this little basin and sprayed the flies and the mosquitoes. It was a humongous campaign. People in the 20s and 30s were really concerned with the diseases that the mosquitoes cause and the flies cause. Now, how did Ted Geisel get into this advertising campaign? In the 20s and 30s, there was, of course, no television. It was radio, magazines, newspapers. And the, the cartoonists usually had their product in magazines. The magazine of choice for Ted Geisel was called The Judge. And it had a really popular readership, but it really didn't provide the, uh, the, the income that uh, Ted Geisel would need to, to promote a career. And one of the stories that has been written about Ted is that he did some product placements in some of his cartoons with different products, and one of the products happened to be this uh, Flit product, which uh, Standard Oil sold, and people sprayed their mosquitoes and their fly. Usually it was a fly problem with a preterin fog. And one story is that Ted Geisel did the product placement and sort of worked on uh, talking to the advertising companies to try to get uh, that marketing campaign Another story that is out there is that a wife of the advertising executive who was in charge of the Standard Oil uh, advertising campaign saw the cartoon in the Judge magazine and she was the one sort of got the ball rolling so that uh, his product could be used or his cartoons could be used in their advertising campaign. It was a very successful campaign and probably went many years to the point where they actually made a book of flit cartoons. Of course, this was in the early 30s, and uh, World War II was coming up, and Ted Geisel was in, uh, an, was, uh, did participate in World War II, along with his talents, and uh, he, there is a, a cartoon that actually shows using a flit, a flit uh, sprayer against some cartoonish looking uh, Nazi officers and in the cartoon. The other campaigns that he was responsible for happened to be mosquitoes. And he has a cartoon which tries to describe to the uh, soldier that he needs to make sure his netting is nice and tight so that the mosquitoes uh, can't get in, bite him, and of course cause diseases.
ないけど。